In this tutorial, we're going to talk about introducing character animation into your VR experience. The character that I'll be using in this tutorial was downloaded from Mixamo.com. Mixamo is a free to use website that allows you to upload your own character and it will automatically create a rig for it and animate it. It also offers a wide range of characters that you can use directly from their website. Once you have chosen a character, go to the animation tab in Mixamo and select an animation from the left panel and it will apply the animation to your character. On the panel to the right, you will find parameters that you can modify to adjust the character's animation. The next step is to download the model. Click on download. In the download dialog, set the format to FBX and the frame rate to 30 to match SimLab VR. And under skin, make sure that you set it to with skin for at least one animation to have the 3D model included. Downloading the character without the skin will download only the animation which we can attach to the model later in SimLab Composer. Going back to SimLab Composer, from the file menu, select Import. Now select the model that you have downloaded with the skin. And as you can see, it has a larger file size than the files that contain only the animation. Click Open and in the Import File dialog, make sure that Importing Animation is toggled on and click OK. Press N on the keyboard and click on the ground to snap the model to where you clicked. Press Ctrl and J on the keyboard to zoom in to the selected model. Rotate the model and adjust its position, then click on the green mark to finish the importing process. Click on the Sequence tab to display the animation sequences imported with the model. Click on the Play icon on the sequence will preview the sequence's animation. Let's import the other animations that we will be using in this tutorial. From the file menu, select Import. Select the running animation that does not have a model with it and click OK. Notice that the imported sequence was placed in a different tab named Unattached since this file does not have a model with it and it is not connected to any characters in the scene. To attach the running animation to the character that we have, select the sequence and select the character model then click on the Attach icon. A replica of the sequence has been successfully attached to the model and was placed in the same tab with the other character's animation. Follow those steps to import and attach all the animations to the character in the scene. The sequence you have imported can be used directly in the training builder or can be sent to the timeline for compositing. To add an animation sequence to the timeline, simply drag it into the scene. A message will appear informing you that the sequence will be added at the current frame of the timeline. Click OK. In the next dialog, you can set the number of repetitions for the sequence. For now, we only need a single instance of the animation, so we will keep it at 1 and click OK. In the Animation tab, you will find the sequence added as a single block, which you can break to keyframes using the Break Groups function. Set the time slider to any frame after the sequence, then go to the Sequences tab and add the waving sequence. SimLab Composer will automatically create a transition between animation groups. All you need to do is set the distance between the two groups to make sure that the transition is smooth.
The next thing that we're going to do is create a path for the character to run. From the Create menu, select Paths, then Create Path. Since the character will be running on a flat surface, select the Play mode and pick a plane or a surface, then set the path type to B-Spline and start placing the path points on the plane. Click Finish to complete the path creation process, and keep in mind that you can always modify the points of the path to change its shape. Now select the character and from the object menu click on Follow Path. Set the frame range to begin after the waving animation and don't worry that much about the end frame since you can adjust it later and click OK. Now select the path that you need the character to follow, then select the character and rotate it in the direction of the path. As you can see, the character is following the path, but it's not moving its legs yet, and it starts rotating at frame 0, which is not what we needed to do. Let us first move the keyframe at frame 0, and send it after the waving animation, so that he would turn after the waving animation is complete. As for the running animation, go to the Sequences tab and drag the running sequence into the scene. I've previously worked with this running animation, and it covers around 1.5 meters, and since the path has a length of around 40 meters, 28 repetitions of the animation would be enough. In most cases, when you are looping an animation, you would want to enable the Blend Sequence option. This option would remove the last frame of each loop, since most of the time, the first and last frame of an animation loop is identical, and we do not want to have a stutter effect within the animation. Let's see how things turned out. Add a rotation animation to the character at the end of his run, since we want him to turn his face towards us. Click on the Path Animation block and from the Attributes menu to the right, expand it slightly to match the running animation. Let us once again add the idle animation at the end to set it back to its resting pose. Now that the guide animation is complete, we need to add an event based animation to trigger once the user gets to his final goal. And to set the location where the goal is, let us add a cylinder to the scene. Once the cylinder is added, make sure to remove any keyframes created for it in case you have modified its shape while the current frame is not set to zero. Set its alpha to zero so that it becomes invisible during the VR experience. 
Before going to the training builder, let us first add the starting position. From the SimLab VR viewer menu, select Set Starting Position and place him right in front of the character. Now pick the human model and select all the keyframes you have created in the timeline and click on Create Animation Sequence to have a single sequence containing all the animation. In the Training Builder, add a Scene Start event, then add a Play Sequence response and connect the sequence you have just created to the response. Then attach the event to the response. This small system will trigger the animation sequence once the VR scene loads. Now let's move to the second part of the experience. Add a node into node event and set the viewer start position as scene node A and the cylinder we have created as scene node B. Then add a play sequence response and attach the thumbs up sequence to it. Then connect it to the node entered node event. A second system will trigger the thumbs up animation once the user gets inside the cylinder announcing the completion of the guiding experience. Go to the SimLab VR viewer menu and select show in VR to test the scene out. 